welcome to What's Up Poland. Yes, we're talking about the Battle of Ratswavite Panorama. That is exactly what you need to see next time you're in Wrocław. And even if you saw it before, you have to see it again because it's reopening after a 10 month restoration kind of modernization. And now I don't know about you guys, but I have been to this, um, I don't know, exhibit. I would call panorama. it and it, the panorama yes but the actual building that it's in ah. and I was not impressed with the building itself so I'm glad inside they did some updates to the ticket counter and it's more interactive and much more I think exciting for a, not just the visual aspect but the storytelling because if you don't know this is the panoramic uh, painting it basically it's this giant round building that you go into and it's quite large and it, it depicts the victorious 1794 battle of Ratswavice led by General Tadeusz Kościuszko <laughs> against the Russian army. Now that's a mouthful. Um, it's very uh, intense, I would say. There's so much to look at. And so I think they also are going to do um, some, so it's going to be a narrative path explaining the history and the painting and the battle. So um, it'll be much more engaging for people visiting. So even if you've been, I think you should see it again after this. Yeah, it took 10 months to do this. But I guess, uh, you know, when in a lockdown and in a pandemic, it's time to reinvent yourself and, oh, yeah. and come back fresh and new. So it's definitely Speak for yourself, worth money. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm still as uh, bedraggled as I was before the lockdown. Uh, with the <laughs> hairs. But yeah, so they, they, they've done a spring clean. Uh, yeah and- no it's actually the biggest renovation in its history since it opened in the 80s now you can tell like when I was there a few years ago it was a bit dated um it, as one of the biggest attractions and it, what draws people the most to Brotswav it definitely could have used an upgrade so I think this was a really good investment um and today it brings in about, about um half a million visitors each year from Poland and abroad so like I said a huge attraction definitely worth checking out um and yeah have so john have you been uh, no i haven't panorama? i mean it's uh, come on it's, guys no i mean Shame. i've been to Wrocław, but like i haven't been to like i haven't been for years uh it's about mm-hmm. time i actually went back to to check it out uh and actually looking at the the, the page on the first news and of course you can right. check that link below uh, this video it does look absolutely fantastic though this panorama it's absolutely monumental um, honestly the pictures on the website don't do it justice I because you have to be there and it's completely 360 degrees, you know, like it's all around you and you just walk in a circle and it's so much to take in. Um, and just, it depicts, um, not only the battle itself, but also the unifying of people of Polish people to try to fight against the common enemy. And, um, it's just so much to look at. And I think you have to visit it more than once, probably just to see all of it and, and see every element and, and aspect of it. But I do also want to mention that this um, modernization also focused on helping people with uh, uh, handicap and, and any issues with mobility. Um, so I think that's also a good push for, um, you know, for Poland to focus on that as well, to make these attractions accessible to everybody so that they can come and visit. And you definitely have to, come on guys, you have to go and visit it and you get, it's, it's worth it, I think. So um, definitely put it on your bucket list next time you're in that area. Oh and- yeah, it's gonna be on my bucket list right now. In fact, in fact, I, I, yeah, I, I'm gonna go to Wrocław now, hold on. Okay, <laughs> bye. Uh- no, actually you can't because it's not open yet. Actually, I mentioned, have to mention July 27th, put it in your calendar. End of the July, Yay. it'll be open again. I was again. getting all excited there. I wanted I'm to go I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Well, you can buy tickets, actually. You can buy tickets in advance because um, I'm sure that it'll be a, a big attraction. So if you want to get your tickets for the summer, I, I recommend buying ahead of time because I'm sure that there's going to be a long line. Even when I went a few years ago, there was a long line because I'm telling you guys, it is quite the attraction. So if you do go, let me know what you think of the modernization. And I, as history buffs, you guys, I'm surprised. I thought that would be like your um, number one place Paddy's to go. Paddy's the history buff, not me. Ah, uh, okay. I'm well, maybe. <laughs> and to my intense shame, despite the fact that Wrocław is the first city I ever went to in Poland in 2007, been there a bazillion times, never quite made it to that round. But I've been outside, been outside the building. Yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> well, I it's not as impressive. My... <laughs> 
my ex-girlfriend told me that I was, oh, there's nothing to look at. It's actually, there's quite a lot to look at, but it's enormous. <laughs> and everywhere yeah. you look, it's there. So there really is something to look at. But there you go. So, yeah, happy, this uh, gigantic thing. Tadeusz Kostrusko, isn't he kind of a kind of big deal in the US, isn't he, Monica? That, 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 yes, he is. Yes, he is. Um <laughs> help with the war of independence i believe that's what they say i <laughs> so oh. i've heard i mean i wasn't there but <laughs> unless you're a time shapeshifter, there would be no possibility that you might be there but yes 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 he's celebrated there and just by the white house in fact they've got his mm-hmm. statue uh, as well yeah. so here he is you can connect with his uh, history the history before he came absolutely in, was on the and wrong side of famous- the battle a lot of famous people are actually did see this painting. So if they were made, if they made the effort, you guys have no excuse um, but to go. So and you, you can also read more about the painting itself. Um, it's very well known. You can read more about the painter and also why it's in Wrocław and all those wonderful details you can find on the first news. And that's it for What's Up Poland. <laughs>